Hey Moose buddy, what's up today? Come here. Come here buddy. We gotta do some painting. Right? Yes. A little camera shy. So today we're gonna be painting this hood for this 93 Ford Escort. GLX wagon, believe it or not. We're also gonna be trying to get to the fender today. We've got a little bit of body work left to do to the bumper. Got a few cap prints on the window. Pretty clean car, all in all. We have the hood nearly prepped. This hood was really bent up. Took a deer hit on this side right here. Got the washer nozzles out. Still got a little ding right here. That's not from the deer. That's just from being a used vehicle. We're not trying to make this perfect. We're trying to make it a respectable daily driver. It's gonna go to scrap. And we're glad that that's not the case now. So let's get started. So we're just gonna be painting this hood. This doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, this is just a runner. It's not a bad car, it's a good car, but it's got other little dings and dents on it just from the years gone by. We're gonna paint this white. We're gonna make it look nice. Uh, same with the bumper and the fender. And we're gonna send it on its way. It's mechanically ready to go. For this, we've got our orbital sander. We've got 320 grit sandpaper on there right now. And that's what we're gonna use. I've already block sanded this down. I'll show it to you as we get going here. We've got our red oxide metal primer from Astolium. I'm gonna follow that up with gloss white from Astolium. And then we've got some catalyst hardener. This is magic brand. This is gonna go with this paint right here. We're gonna reduce it with acetone. We're gonna go four parts to three parts to one part. So four parts paint, three parts acetone, one part hardener. No hardener in the Rust-Oleum primer. This stuff lays down so nice. And we're gonna see how this looks compared to maybe a factory paint job. No cutting or buffing involved. If you wanted to do that, probably wait about 30 days and then go ahead and do a cut and a buff. And hopefully it'll look really nice and last a long time. Of course, it'll last a long time without the cut and buff as well. Just might have a little more orange peel. With that said, let me show you this real quick and we'll get started. So as you can see, I did the body work on this. And this was completely twisted up and it was big wave. And now as you can see, it's much better. I got this on the tripod here, so bear with me. Much better now. Let's go ahead and sand this down. Hey Moose buddy. One thing before I start sanding and definitely before I start painting, I'm gonna put Moose in the house. <laughs> Okay, we've got the whole thing sanded down. That 320 grit sandpaper just works excellent. Now, if you're wanting to make your paint chips disappear, this has a few rock chips, basically. You can go ahead and finish those off with some glazing putty. I'll show you that right now. This has all been sanded, so we've got some Bondo glazing and spot putty. Just put a little tiny bit on there, smoothing it out on all your rock chips. 
and then you're going to give it one last sand. You could use 320 for that again, or if you wanted to go with even like a 400, you could do that. Uh, if you go with the 400, probably hit the whole hood again, but if you stay with your 320, just hit those spots and kind of feather it out a little bit. So we're ready for some gloss white paint. Let me know in the comments section what you guys would do. Would you go the extra mile? Would you put the two to five hours into this part of the hood and into the little rock chips that are in there before you paint it to make it look as close to perfect as possible? Or would you go with this, form fitting, functional, looks good, a nice 10 foot car basically. What would you do? Let me know. For this part, we're gonna use the Sprayway glass cleaner. Some people put it on the rag first and then wipe. I just spray it on the actual project piece. I don't really worry about it a whole lot. Just little parts here and there. And of course, what's coming off of this is white. White paint, of course. You can do whichever motions you want. You can go back and forth, or you can go like this and flip your cloth, or you can do like this. I'm gonna do two passes on this. It will make it ready for paint. Now I'll flip the fold in the rig. We'll come back and do the rest here. Okay, we've got our paint all mixed up. We just went a ratio of four parts paint to three parts reducer, which is that acetone, because there's no hardener in the primer. We're gonna put our moisture filter on, and this is good for up to 90 PSI. If you go any bit over that 90 PSI, um, it will start leaking air. It's gonna separate at the seams. I have mine set right now at about 80 PSI, and we run about 27 to 29 PSI at the gun where the regulator is at. Respirator on, let's get going. All right, here it is, three coats later. The wind is really blowing, so I'm having an issue getting these little specks on it. Probably can't see that, maybe you can. Everything turned out great. You can see this way, you can see a little bit of that body work. On the other side, you'll be able to see it a whole lot better, which can be considered a poor job. But bottom line is, is I just didn't do a complete job on it because the time that it takes to do that just isn't going to bring any sort of return on our little GLX wagon there. I know what you're thinking, it's a head turner, but probably only with the hood off. We gotta put that hood back on, which makes it no longer a head turner. So let's go ahead and put the white paint on. We're gonna do three coats starting right now, light, medium, and heavy duty. First coat's gonna get about one more minute to flash. Should be sticky at this point in time. We're gonna throw on coat number two. Coat number two. flash it's been about 15 minutes I did not hit the second coat as heavy as I wanted to so we're gonna go a little bit extra heavy on this third coat if it doesn't turn out the way I want it to we're gonna do one more coat over the whole thing so let's get started on this third and hopefully final coat hey mama put the third final coat on
Okay, well, as you can see behind me, the hood's painted. It's been probably about an hour, I suppose, since I painted it. Put on that third and final coat. I did only do three coats, and it did turn out nice. However, it's got more orange peel in it than I would like. I tried to lay it down pretty thick so I could get the orange peel to uh, really be minimal. I don't know if you can see in the light. Right there, it's kind of rough. Here, it starts to clear up a little bit. And that's because I was able to get this a little heavier and I actually ran out of paint right about there. So, with that said, we're gonna put it on. It's gonna look good. Um, if we have the car more than 30 days, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick cut and buff on the hood. And I'll do a video of that to show you how well it cuts down in that orange peel. It makes it look really nice. Stay with us as we keep working on this Ford Escort GLX wagon. Really appreciate it. Hit that like button if you like what we're doing here. Also, hit the subscribe button. Help us get to 1,000 subscribers. That's kind of our goal. Not too important, but it would be kind of fun. Well, thanks so much for hanging out today. We'll talk to you next time. If you're not painting your own hood, if you're not painting your own car, why not? What's stopping you? We'll go through a list of things next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Mooser, what do you think? Did it turn out good? I think so too.